What is going on? I'm Zedmot, still playing warships on three warships, kinda. Let's jump in to the first one. Showed you this one in a weird little wonky video. Two engine rooms, no defenses. I have used a total of zero troops this entire season. And we're sitting in gold. Ridiculous. Just collecting these chests. I've been in and out of gold like three to four times, lose some concentration and lose. And then a couple battles later or 10 battles later, 50 battles later, you end up getting back into gold. Uh, let's do check this status out. 400 battles. Free intel is what it is. This task force is called Cheeseheads. I don't know any of these guys. Don't interact with them a heck of a lot. I just do operation attacks, joined in, seem like good people. If you're looking for a random task force that maybe has space that I might talk to you in, nope, they don't have space. So there goes that idea. So um, nothing to be done here. Like this is just silliness. We'll get into some more things in a second, but for right now, I'm gonna put my phone down on my desk. Every other battle I've ever done in Boom Beach has been, uh-oh, did I leave that for too long? No, I didn't. Has been always thumbs. I am a thumbs player. I always play Boom Beach with thumbs. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's it. Fingers for this only. We did an attack. We're gonna get a tie, most likely. I would put the chances at about 97%. Sometimes you see it where your opponent kind of stalls for a second and you're like, oh, that's a 357. And then it ends up not being. So um, that, is that aspect of the video. The other aspect is seven engine rooms. You guys weren't here, I jumped into seven engine rooms, uh, won a bunch of attacks, lost a bunch of attacks, shout out to both Hammer and High for life, uh, managed to beat HLY, which was a huge leaderboard moment. Uh, HLY sitting directly below me. Again, I love looking at HLY, Hilly HLY, love looking at their account because it blows my mind. 2,700 battles. I'm up at 500, which is still a lot, but 2,700 is mind blowing. Like insane. So shout out to those players. I, please send me a screenshot of whoever you think has the most battles this season. I would love to see it or their player ID or where they are on the leaderboard or something. So uh, first of all, always check that creator boost. So, so vital to winning on warships, to winning on PVP, to winning on operation attacks. A bunch of you asked, why is instant training so expensive for me? It's because I'm in Canada and we use Monopoly money, so it's 14 bucks. That is why it's extra important to put code ZMOT in that creator boost because we need all of the Monopoly monies. So uh, my seven engine room attack strategy is not super duper great. As you can see here, I'm getting decent times. Uh, crushed HLY because he's a six engine room player. So against six engine room players, you generally need to be around the two minute mark. We'll do one attack here because why the heck not? Uh, I've been trying to find a way to mix Seekers in. I just haven't got there yet. I know it's coming. I know I'll figure it out. This base is all about that sky shield in the corner. I think we should be able to just walk through it. Uh, we're gonna bring one boat of heavies just in case. Do I dare bring like Oh, I haven't seen this base to become, I've seen it built by a couple people. I do not have the sky shield. I think I'm four keys short of it. So that's why I, I, I'm only on a couple seven engine room attacks. So if I do this completely botched wrong, do come back tomorrow. Cause I will have these things sorted out. No rocket launchers. So I'm actually going to drop you there. One, two, three over there. Maybe we'll get some of you over there and you over there. Going to hold on to Kevi Kavon for a little bit, get him back in this corner. And then as we get slightly closer, I'll start to bring out some more of those rifles. Why I waited for the rifles, you might be asking, because there's there was no single shot defenses, just mortars and flamethrowers and all of the rest of the stuff to start with. So I kind of want to just get rid of that their sky shield. Is it a waste of gunboat energy? Probably, but let's get rid of it. Gonna be able to get some shocks out on all that stuff as a result. 
nothing here is overly scaring me. Typically, I would be barting out a rocket launcher or a shock launcher or something. The fact that we can just walk the majority of our troops in here should be okay. Just need to be a little bit cognizant of that doom cannon and that shock launcher back there. Not let them get any shots out. The fact this is so, so compressed, I think we should be able to just walk through this, trying to make sure, I think we talked a fair amount before we went in, so let's get some more rifle dudes out. Now, I'm gonna get rid of you right there, those mines right there, hoping that we can just throw a massive kamikaze flare towards the end, but again, I, I, I don't know. This is all new to me, all Greek to me. Getting one more shock, that should be enough. Let's get rid of that there shock mine, hoping that doesn't slow our troops up, which of course it did. And now, if I was a little bit faster, we would have been able to get that doom cannon down a little bit sooner. Um, I want to get one more artillery on those shock mines, which is probably a dumb, dumb idea. We're just sitting here wasting troops this is not going super duper well. Doing poorly, poorly, poorly on this base. We're going to lose at least one more bombardier there. Down goes that final doomahickey. Then we'll get that final flare out. Run the heck away. And hope that Kavan's dudes will give us a little bit of backfill as we run the heck away. That machine gun is going to be in range. Kamikaze flare. That one rifleman doing good things for us. This was an awful attack. So definitely need to plan this a little bit more. I probably want to throw my gunboat on that back engine room as opposed to on that sky shield over there. You guys know how to do these attacks. Some of you do. So 219, that is fast. Willing to bet blue tick hound mixed in some seekers. Shall we find out? No, I lose the bet. So blue tick hound just walking through and I'm at that stage yesterday's video. I was at that stage where I was short on um, keys. This video, again, short on keys. I missed at least one chest to start this season. I started nine hours after the season started, and there has been a handful of times where I have been short keys. This is one of them. Really, really missing that sky shield right there. That would change attacks drastically. Would have had seven engine rooms eight at least eight hours earlier. Would have had that sky shield at least eight hours earlier. I gotta say, every season should start with two out of three chests, three out of sorry, two out of four chests, three out of four chests, or at a less crappy time zone. 1 a.m., 4 a.m., not ideal. We'll do one more hit because it really doesn't matter if I go up and down. I'm still above, uh, I'm not sure what the, I think it's 23, what, 21.5 or, I don't know where the heck I'm trying to get to at this point. All I know is I'm not usually playing at this point, so it's a little bit awkward for me. We'll go 1-2 over here. We'll go one way over there, 1-2 over there. Now, I have been holding back on Kavon a little bit too darn... Oh, that was meant to be a heavy. So we're going to have to hope that one of my bombardiers has died, which of course it hasn't. Anytime you want your bombardiers to die, they never do. So we are in a bit of a pickle because I need something to go right, and I dropped my bombardiers when I wasn't trying to. So um, we're going to have to hope that somewhere along the way, Kavon can bring back some form of a uh, bombardier because otherwise as soon as B Kavon gets over there we're gonna set him loose hoping that maybe our rifleman can go right or something I gotta break this cycle now we've got no bombardiers on the right everyone is going in the wrong direction hoping that somehow Kavon I almost should have like barded out one of my bombardiers which would be extremely extremely desperate what we're gonna do is Oh, I don't think I can do anything, to be completely honest. Um, any flare that I throw is going to get some troops dead, which is not going to be helpful. Kavon is not in the right spot. Gross. This is going to be attack bad number two. And this was completely... I meant to drop one boat of bombardiers to go right, send Kavon with them, but instead I absolutely, absolutely screwed up. So we're going to get rid of that and get rid of that, and maybe we can just get... All of our riflemen doing enough damage on that far right-hand side to take down that engine room. 
probably not going to happen as all of our dudes get in range of things. Trying to show you guys some fun 7 engine room things and totally, totally, totally botching it. So at least Kavon is doing something useful for us on that right hand side. Just need to get onto that final engine room. Can't shock that shock launcher at the back. Getting decent damage from our bombardiers at the very, very least. Let's just throw all of our GBE onto that sky shield, even though it's not going to go down. Save maybe a second or two. Seven engine rooms. Get that sky shield. Fire one and two. Spank me. I'm sure of it. Yep. Yeah. So this base without that sky shield at the back, just not good enough. Now I wanted to show you guys one more thing because I find this incredibly satisfying. Where this hot pot is located is very, very, very important. Use your hot pot so that when people do that kamikaze flare towards that those back back engine rooms, you get all sorts of value. I'll show you that value in a second. It is very, very, very fun. I promise. Do stick around. We're going to do an operation attack after this. I know these warships Attacks were mediocre at best, but check this out. Out comes the Kamikaze Flare. It must already be out there. It's, right, it's on that engine room back there. Look at this. Look at this hot pot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bombardiers dead so far. Come on, get a tenth. That is the tenth bombardier that that hot pot picked off in about a two second time frame. People are low on gunboat energy by the time they get back to there. And let's be honest, they're trying to shock these two or these two. So that's why the hot pot is out front a little bit. Let's get the heck away from warships. Sure, we won. Actually, we didn't even win a single battle in this video, but uh, that's okay. These things happen. I am not playing right now. I realized that when I collected my chest this morning, I did not record a video bad on me. Just super, super, super busy. So Forlorn Hope is dead, but I'm sure we can find something to show you. Okay, I told you I'm trying to show the OG players. This is Kirk. Kirk, I was in a task force with Kirk for like eight years at this point. Uh, he came to my town and I did not make time. I did not manage to get my life in order to go meet him for a beer. Huge regret there. Uh, he is still playing Boom Beach. He is an absolute beast player. I have not seen this attack. Those of you not familiar with Green Court, rocket launcher there, hot pots all around, doom cannons all around, lasers all around, hot pots, critter launchers. Like this is an absolute, absolute gong show. On top of that, it's looking at about, what is that? 1.6 million health. We are going to watch as he, we're going to speed him up a little bit as he burns through all of these cells. If you burn through these cells and you fail, bad things happen. So Kirk eating a lot, a lot of these cells. We're going to slow it down to half times. You'll see that he picked the perfect spot to gather his troops because that rocket launcher is not in range. Those lasers are not in range. And then and you'll notice he's using brick. I, when I do this attack, I use bullet because I don't have the guts to use brick. By the way, I have not watched this attack. We are watching it for the first time together on core. Let's go walking the ladies into position. The fact that there's a SEMO up there doesn't really matter to us. And then I'm assuming he's going to move a bit south here in a second. That's the usual. Yep, there we go. Two smokes to drop the ladies in. And now I'm going to come down to half times mode because we want to see this live. You see those far, far lasers as the Zookas almost step out of smoke. Lasers are in range. Lasers are in range. Rockets not in range. Rockets in range. Let's go. Smoke timer counting down. One shock, two shocks, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shocks absolutely crushing the core. Look at that. Zookas blasting that core. Absolutely melted the core. Eight perfect shocks. I don't know if he could have done seven or if he should have done nine, but he got seven. Nonetheless, Kirk only losing five troops, taking down Green Court like an absolute boss. That is going to be it for me today. Success for Kirk fails for me. I'm okay with that. That's the beauty of being in a task force, having other members to pick you up. 
I'm doing pretty well on the warships, but like I said, just waiting for that timer to tick over. These long seasons can draw out forever, ever. I'm gonna get that Sky Shield, hopefully push up a little bit, give myself some wiggle room around the 23 rank. Like I showed you guys the other day, there is no advantage to parking where I'm at. Need to get into 23 and then maybe consider it, but ideally we get into 24.5 or Legendary 1. I don't see myself having the time or the energy to get into Legendary, so at the very worst, gonna get back into 23. I shall talk to you soon. Thank you for coming in. Don't forget to keep an eye on that leaderboard. What you wanna do on that leaderboard is if you're looking to get in the top 500, take a couple notes. Right now, top 500 is sitting at 2376. Look tomorrow at the same time. See how many stars it's moved by. Get a general idea of where you want to be at the end of the season. See how many stars it's moving and then plan to be above that if you want to get into that top 500. I shall talk to you soon. Thanks for coming in. I'm Zedmont. Peace.